hello and welcome to yet another Photoshop tutorial. This time I'm going to be going over how to paint with light on an image. Uh, this is um, this is a technique I use for almost every single image I I make, and um, I'm going to be uh, referring to this technique uh, several times in other videos. So I thought, why not make this video so you guys know what I'm talking about? Now, paint with light is a technique uh, that it's uh, kind of like a dodge and burn. Uh, and a way to enhance the uh, the bright areas in an image in order to make them pop a bit more. Um, it is not to be mistaken for the photographic technique where you do long exposures and run around painting with a flashlight or something like that. Um, this is the Photoshop version of it. So first, and first of all, uh, what I do is when I do this tutorial uh, or technique is that I create a new empty layer. Uh, the shortcut is uh, Command Shift N, and we're gonna call this Paint with Light PWL. Uh, I'm gonna press OK here. So now we have an empty, an empty layer, and I'm doing this because we want to do the non-destructive way of editing. Whereas if you do the dodge and burn, you, you most often gonna be doing it directly on the image, and we don't want that. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay, as you can see here, and I'm going to choose my brush, make sure the foreground color is white, and up here in the uh, opacity and flow, while we have opacity at 100, the flow is going to be changed to around 5. Now between 2 and 7 is usually good, um, and I have... Uh, I've put shortcuts for increasing and in decreasing the brush size and what I have here is, as you can see here, a rather big brush with a zero hardness. So what I can do now is I can go over the highlights in the image and let's see here to see what highlights I'm talking about. I'm gonna just enhance them big time so you can see what what part of the image has highlights? We have the nose here, we have uh, down here on the, on the cheek and s in the forehead. Um, those are the places with natural highlights. What we're going to do is we're also going to enhance other parts of the image that we want to be lit up a bit more. So I'm going to delete this layer and with the, uh, with the brush here I'm going to do these short paint strokes. Um, I'm going to turn down the flow a bit here. Uh, let's say three. So it's not going to be that that much. Now the uh, the rim light we have here is also going to be highlighted, and we can do it. This we can do the same thing to highlight the glow in here. <coughs> um, so now I'm just going to go over the uh, the image find the spots I want to enhance a bit. Uh, I usually also do this on uh, on lips. Uh, this guy doesn't have that much of lips so uh, we're gonna go straight for the uh, for the eyes here. Now what I'm usually doing is I'm gonna paint on the bottom part of the eye. Not the whole part, just the bottom. Uh, if I also did the top like here we would end up with uh, an unnatural lighting whereas uh, the eye socket only allows light to hit the bottom of the eye. So I'm also painting the, uh, the iris there and like this. And I can use this to also enhance some of the, uh, the general features and like this. Now I've only painted with light, I haven't painted with any kind of darkness because if I were to do that, um, let's uh, switch to black here. If I were to uh, were to do that uh, in order to enhance some of the uh, darker areas, if I do this too much, you can see how it turns red, and uh, we don't want that uh, unless we want to give him a black eye like this. But that's not what we were aiming for here. So what I've done here now is that I have enhanced some of the details in the image with the painting of light. And that's about it. You can use this technique on almost everything. 
um, you're gonna be you're gonna be seeing me using it for a number of different other things in the other tutorials. So um, feel free to to use this and uh, try to get better with it. It's gonna take some practice to get the uh, the sense of how much to add and where to add it. Uh, but uh, keep doing it, and you might just get there. Thanks for watching and. Be sure to subscribe if you want more videos like this.